Here's the coolant manifold output. And you can see it's very close to the body line here. So I'm actually going to chop it off, get rid of these tabs, these stopping tabs, and put the coolant hose right in here. There's the cut and giving quite a bit of uh, clearance between the output and the body. Cut off about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Here's a van again engine bay radiator hose that I'm going to use. Van again radiator hose fits in nicely, has a nice radius going down, tucks right behind the apron there and exits right here which is very near where the thermostat housing is as well so we're gonna have two lengths of pipe going up to the passenger side which is where the input and output are on the radiator quick walkthrough of the cooling system so we start with a vanigan 1.9 liter radiator hose sneaks along the uh, apron right here and i'll go underneath and you can see this is where the output is of the uh, the motor so it follows rigid pipe right along here kind of mimicking the uh, angle of the of the wheel arch comes down here and attaches to right underneath the running board and then goes through all kinds of crazy compound bends. The uh, compound bends try to sneak in between all the steering linkage and then they come up right up through here. And this is the one we're looking at. There's a bit of a coupler right here and then it goes and connects to the top of the radiator. Coolant flows down through the radiator and then we go to the output of the radiator. I enlarge this little cross member hole here. I still need to sleeve it because it is rubbing slightly. A little bit of pressure on that so I don't want that rubbing into the hose. But anyway that goes down. To right here and we can see it also makes a bit of a compound bend pretty simple s bend shallow to avoid the uh, suspension and then we just follow the body line all the way back the pan line and it kind of tucks pretty nicely another angle of the coolant line running down the pan Right in here, um, this this um, clamp can come off. It was just holding it up, so it, it alleviated pressure from the, the hose so I can get everything placed right. This is doing nothing right now. It's just for the brake, emergency brake cable. So I'm gonna be taking that off. And comes up here, and little clamp holding it on, and swings into the thermostat via a little coupler. Here's a cross section of the coolant tubing that I used. It's got like a bit of a slight gold finish. It's an inch and an eighth ID internal diameter, inch and a quarter outside diameter. And uh, I think it's a variation or form of aluminum. Bends really easy yet it's pretty strong pretty lightweight. On the turbo models, this is where we're going to fill up the coolant. This comes standard on a turbo EJ22 and uh, it's by far the highest point in the system so that'll be nice. Hopefully everything will bleed out there. So now the system is ready to fill with coolant and we can fill with oil. Temporarily install the wiring harness. Still waiting on a sleeve, silicone sleeve for the intake. But then we're ready to give it its first test start, so stay tuned for that.